Welkom terug, dit is een lekker maandagochtend op je Goed Voel Ontbuit programma Express op SABC3, waar ons altijd benieuwd vindt om te inspireren. This morning we're going to do exactly that, just that. Now let me ask you a question. Uh, what is a man who cycled all around the entire world embark on doing on his next challenge? Well, Mark Beaumont decided to break the record for cycling from Cairo to Cape Town in under 50 days, something he managed to do in 41 days. And he's written about this epic journey in his new book, Africa Solo, and he's joining us via Skype right now to chat about the entire experience. Mark, thank you so, so so much uh, for joining us. Now, I understand that you are the second man to hold the record for the fastest cycle around the world, and you've held it for two years. So why did you want to, play, to break this particular record, cycling from Cairo to Cape Town? Well, I mean, if you look at a world map, I've always thought the ultimate hat trick, the big three, would be the round the world, the length of the Americas, and the length of Africa. And I've done the first two, so the last one on my list is Africa. So you, you were generally going here for the trifecta? Yeah, that was the plan. And, um, you know, at the turn of last year, the, the record was 59 days. But as usual, I was out there to try and really smash that, take it to a whole new level. So uh, I ended up doing 41 days, 10 hours, 22 minutes, which was, uh, you know, about 160 miles a day, which for anyone that understands how beautiful but tough the roads of Africa can be, that, uh, that, was, that was going fast. Yeah, I mean, it must have been quite a challenge. Just thinking about it, it's challenging. Uh, is there any actual enjoyment that goes into this kind of cycling? I mean, why are you doing it? What keeps you motivated, especially in those tough moments? Well, I think the exciting part is the fact that every day is different. You know, one moment you're racing through the Sahara Desert, the next you're in the Ethiopian Highlands, yeah. then you're in the great savannas of Kenya, you know, going down through Tanzania, Ethiopia. It, I mean, it, was, it was constantly changing. And, and I, you know, needed the friendship of strangers because I'm alone, I'm unsupported. Yeah. So I'm riding 14, 16 hours a day, but I've no idea where I'm going to sleep every night. I've no idea where I'm going to find my next meal or clean water. So, you know, that, there's that sort of journey of discovery as well as being an endurance athlete. So, um, yeah, you're completely in touch with the world around you and that makes it you're hugely exciting but tough. I think the wonderful thing to think about is that you do all of this and put yourself through all of this uh, for a charitable cause. And this time around, who are you cycling for? Yes, yeah, so, so, so there's always a big broadcast and a big charitable element. There always has been over the last decade of big expeditions. And this one was in support for Orchid Studio, which is a, a, an amazing charity I've been patron for for the last seven years. And they're actually building a healthcare centre in Zambia at the moment. So that, I'm very proud of what we managed to achieve with the Africa Solar Ride. Well, that's wonderful, and I hope that a lot of people do draw inspiration from your story, uh, especially I mean, the fact that you're an all-rounder as well. You're a broadcaster, you're an adventurer, a cyclist, and on top of that, a father too. So what's, what's next for you? Well, my, my challenges, my adventures at the moment are a bit closer to home. My, my second daughter was born last week. So um, if that counts as a, an epic challenge, then, uh, then yeah, there's, there's a lot of fun stuff happening back here in Scotland at the moment. As an athlete, yeah, big plans. And I'll come back on the show, um, you know, as soon as I can tell you exactly what's happening. Yeah, we, we do hope to see you very soon. So are there any hopes of your daughters one day becoming cyclists like you? Oh, for sure. My, uh, my, uh, my older daughter is three years old. And she's already on her balance bike and she's, uh, she's pretty good. But I'll, I'll need to watch <laughs> out. <laughs> well, Mark, thank you so, so much for the inspiration and congratulations once again on breaking this epic world record traveling from Cairo to Cape Town in 41 days. And if you'd like to read more about Mark's adventures, you can uh, do so in his book. It's called Africa Solo and is now available at all major bookstores around the country. Right now, here's Leanne with the news.